Welcome back to the ABBA English YouTube channel. My name is Marion and I am one of the ABBA English teachers. In this video, we will go through some tips to help you learn English if you are just starting. But first of all, let me congratulate you. Starting to learn a new language requires a lot of courage and bravery. Whether you do it out of curiosity or because you need it, we are very happy that you are here. Welcome to the team. Remember, you can turn on the subtitles in English below to help you follow this video better. If you want to find out more tips and grammar lessons, have a look through the videos on this channel. I am sure you'll find them very interesting and of course you can subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button. As I was saying, in this video we'll review some of the tips that in our experience will help you the most at this early stage. We will start with the easiest things to do and finish with the one which has the most impact on your progress. Let's begin. Here are our three best English tips for beginners. Tip number one, cover all the areas. Reading, writing, listening and speaking. This is actually very logical but from what we see with our students it's also very common to focus only on some of them and leave the rest alone. If you balance your studying between all four areas, you will build a solid base. You will put into practice what you've learned by reading, listening and speaking. Luckily, if you are studying with us, you'll see that all four areas are covered in each unit, following the order that our brain naturally absorbs a new language. In every unit, you will be exposed to English with a short film created by us, with real life situations. We call them ABBA films. Using the film, listening is the first step that you'll take. The same way that you would if you were learning English in an English speaking country. Then you practice with a speaking activity, imitating the sounds that you have just listened to and then doing a writing exercise. Finally, we review the grammar and vocabulary you have been exposed to in that lesson. Listening, speaking, reading and writing. Tip number two, know your weaknesses and act. Some students have a hard time with conjugating the verbs. Others find it very difficult to pronounce some words. Perhaps listening and understanding English is easier for you than speaking. Either way, you'll certainly be better at some things than other things. Knowing your weak spots will help you work on them. The same thing happens with understanding your English level. If you are still hesitant, you can take our level test and get some tips and advice on your next steps. You can find it in the description box below. Just click on show more. Tip number three, stop translating from your native language. This is probably the most difficult thing to do and at the same time it will help you the most. You are probably still thinking in your native language when you are speaking English. You're translating sentences sentence by sentence. Don't worry, you are not alone, but if you can make the switch you will see a big improvement. Something you can try is to start thinking in English when you are thinking your inner thoughts. Whenever you catch yourself thinking in your native language, try to switch to English. This will help you make the switch and help you think in English as well when you are in a conversation with someone else. 
So that is all. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you have a few more tools to improve your English level. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see all of our videos with tips, tricks and grammar lessons for English. Take care. Goodbye.